Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to share my new personal journal with you. I actually made the journal cover over a year ago. It was originally going to be part of my Etsy shop update in March 2022, but I fell in love with it and I decided to keep it for myself. So I have very recently finished it and I'm so happy with it. So it's a hardcover journal which I've made from scratch and I painted it in this lovely blue colour. There is also some pink bits throughout too. The window image is this beautiful girl illustration from a little golden book. I also added some wax around the edges. It is a little bit smaller than my previous journal. It measures five and a half inches wide by seven and a half inches tall. And I think my previous green one was about six inches by eight and a quarter inches. So this is a little bit smaller. So the spine is two inches wide and it has six signatures. I've also added some beautiful beads and charms on the spine of the journal. I've kept them a little bit more simple this time because my last journal I went a little bit bead crazy. There's lots of light and softer colours and I added this pretty key charm too. They just feel very magical and the whole journal just feels very special. So this is the inside of the journal and I've lined it with this beautiful scrapbook paper here. This one reminds me of vintage wallpaper and it's actually some paper from a paper pad I thrifted. It appears in one of my thrift haul videos, I just can't remember which one. And then this beautiful floral paper over here is by Craft Consortium. And I love the cute bunnies on this side. I've also added some vintage ledger paper and this is some children's dictionary book page. I've also sewn some pockets in this time. I had pockets in my last journal but they weren't sewn in because I wasn't competent on my sewing machine so it feels nice to have my first journal with sewn pockets and this paper here is by Crate Paper. It's one of their older collections and I believe this pocket is by October Afternoon and I've added some cream paper. I've added this cute little tuck spot. This paper is by October Afternoon too. I did use some scraps that I had left over. This paper here is also from a paper pad I thrifted. And you may recognise this paper. This paper featured in my newest journal collection. And I think the paper is by Craft Consortium. And then this is vintage ledger paper. It's the last scrap I have of this paper. So I really wanted to include it in my journal. I have some craft paper. There's some craft consortium paper. There's a side loading pocket here. And then this paper here is by Tim Holtz. And some more top loading pockets. There's a children's book page from a little golden book. And I love this paper from Craft Consortium. It's just got greenhouses on it and vegetable patches. And it's just absolutely stunning. So lots and lots of different papers added in here. And this one has a cute kitty and dog on it. And another cute kitty. I really like this page, so I wanted to include it. Some more paper from Craft Consortium. And there's a pocket here in this ledger paper. So I've kept it really, really simple. I have added some pockets, but I haven't gone too crazy with any fold outs or lots and lots of special details because I'll just add them when I journal. And this vintage book page is from a book by Edith Holden. I'm sure you're all familiar with it. And I included this page because my birthday is in August. And this is some more scrapbook paper that I thrifted. And I've got a paper bag here. And I really like that the paper bag had like leaves and tree branches on it. And this is a vintage book page. There's a double pocket here. And 
and then this is the other end of the paper bag and then here I've created a pocket I've cut a little semicircle out the top here and you can just slip something in there and this paper is also from October afternoon and then I love this paper. I think this one also featured in my newest journal collection. It's just got some ducks and chickens on it and some floral images. Some more vintage ledger paper. Another pocket and this one's also by October afternoon. And then here I've bound a little envelope into the middle of the signature. And this one has this cute little feather and bottle on it, which I thought was super cute. And that's the end of the journal. And as you can see, there's lots of pages in there, but I have left myself some room to grow. So that was a look at my new personal journal. I'm so excited to move into this one. I hope you enjoyed seeing a flip through before I start playing in it. If you have any questions about the journal or anything, please leave a comment below. I hope you're all doing really well. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.